gentlemen, Coach Elizabeth here. Today, this one's for you. Are you missing out on strength and speed? Are you leaving that kind of PR on the table, not being able to hit it? Possible reason, low testosterone. I'm gonna talk about why yours might be lower than you think and what you can do about it. So when people think of testosterone, usually they're thinking it's a male-only hormone. While for today's discussion, that's mostly what we're gonna be talking about, but women do have testosterone too, just in much smaller amounts. So why is this important? Why are we talking about it today? More and more studies are confirming that endurance athletes have, are linking and having low testosterone. So before we dive into that though, let's talk a little bit about what testosterone is and what it does in your body. So what is testosterone? Testosterone is a steroid hormone that's essential to your overall health. It's important for sexual function, athletic performance, your body needs it to build muscle and strength, um, it increases your body's ability to utilize oxygen when you're exercising, it affects your mood, fertility, all sorts of things. So definitely something you want to pay attention to and make sure that you have enough of. So in the body, there are two forms. The first form is the bound form. Super long name, hard to pronounce. The abbreviation SHBG, sexual hormone binding globulin. The other form is the unbound kind, and that is your free testosterone. Combine those together, your overall testosterone score, if you have any blood work done, that those two together make your overall testosterone. When does testosterone become a problem? If it's at the extremes, either too high or too low. Um, excess testosterone isn't as common, but it's definitely something you wanna pay attention to. Um, it gets in the way of your HDL, your good cholesterol, it affects your heart health, um, it impairs immunity, so something to pay attention to. Much more common though is low testosterone. That can lead to all sorts of problems. In men, if you're getting your blood tested, uh, that's if it's under 200. So that's that number to keep in mind. Check your blood work um, or get some blood testing done under 200. You wanna talk to your doctor about it. Uh, some of the things that can happen if your testosterone is too low, decreases in athletic performance. It can cause weight gain. Um, it decreases your muscle mass or ability to put on muscle. It gives you low energy, low bone density. Um, it can affect, uh, interfere with your sleep. Um, cause a low sex drive, which can lead to depression. <laughs> uh, something, again, all of these things you wanna pay attention to. If you're having um, any of these symptoms, if you're not sleeping well, if you're not be able to hit that PR, your testosterone might be low. Professional runner, Ryan Hall, um, that he cited that as a reason for his early retirement and his poor performance, low testosterone. So it's something that happens in a lot of endurance athletes, especially in male runners. The causes of low testosterone. I'm gonna go through five reasons. If you can check the box in more than two of these, it's definitely something to consider and make sure that you remedy. So the first one, most common, is overtraining and a lack of sleep. So are you doing more training than you should be and kind of running yourself into the ground? And are you not taking that time to properly recover and get the sleep that you need? I've talked about this before. We have another video on the importance of sleep, something to pay attention to. The next one is, are you under eating or having poor refueling strategies? A lot of times there is that concern for maybe hitting your quote unquote race weight, or if you're trying to lean out, if you're not meeting your daily caloric needs, that can lead to low testosterone. Also, if you're not properly refueling after your training sessions, that can cause problems, hormonal disruptions as well. The third one is age. As you get older, it happens, your testosterone just naturally starts to decrease. Something to pay attention to. Number four, medications. What medications are you taking? Are you on statins? Are you on antidepressants, antihistamines, um, painkillers, any serious, uh, any of the opioids also? Those are all dangerous and those can lead to problems in lowering your testosterone. The final one is a poor diet, which we're gonna dive into next. Are you not eating those? Are you eating processed foods, high in sugar, 
unhealthy fats, all those kinds of things. Let's talk about ways to get your diet better. Finally, we're gonna look at testing and treatment. What can you do if low testosterone is an issue? Kind of three approaches. There's the training perspective, the physiological perspective, and then a nutritional perspective. So the easiest one, kind of the biggest, that'll have the greatest impact would be the nutritional, what nutritional interventions can you take to get your testosterone back up again? A uh, couple things you wanna consider, zinc. That is a mineral necessary for the production of testosterone, something that a lot of us are deficient in to begin with. So eating things like pumpkin seeds, chickpeas, grass-fed beef, cashews, yogurt, kefir, um, and then not overcooking your food also, because that reduces the levels of zinc in there, absorbable zinc, um, is one thing to consider. Make sure you're getting all of those healthy foods in. The next one is magnesium. I know you've heard me talk about this before. Um, dark leafy greens, uh, dark chocolate, again, pumpkin seeds, that's kind of a two for one there, zinc and magnesium, so make sure you're getting those on a regular basis. Black beans, avocados, that kind of stuff. Next up in your diet, you have adding in healthy fats. Make sure that you're getting those avocados, coconut oil, omega-3s, all those good ones. Um, cutting out sugar is another way, and not completely, but all of those added sugars. So are you consuming a lot of gels, any of those sports bars, juice, a lot of those coffee drinks? Be careful with the extra added sugars. And finally, adding some branch chain amino acids, BCAAs, especially leucine into your diet will help make kind of round that out make sure that you're getting all of those uh, to help boost testosterone levels whey protein isolate is a great source for that if you do dairy full fat dairy products can help with that as well all right so that's the nutrition perspective now let's talk about the training perspective as i said before one of the causes is overtraining so if your testosterone is low this is the time to kind of step that back maybe lower your volume, lower the intensity, and just kind of dial that back in until your body is healthy again. The other one is sleep. I talked about it, get that seven to nine hours of sleep, take care of your body. All right, lastly is a lifestyle perspective. So are you overstressed? Are you overworking? Are you not getting that you know, meditation that people recommend? So take care of things from a lifestyle perspective so that your whole body can start to function again like you need. Now last, last little point, I'm gonna give you a takeaway here, an action item, gentlemen, go get your blood tested. I happen to like Inside Tracker, so does the run experience. Get your blood tested, check what your levels are, and be careful that you are not running yourself into the ground, missing that added strength, missing those PRs. All right. See you next time. Strength training for more testosterone. Get strong. There you go. Strength training. I'm so strong. Strongest person ever. Boosting testosterone so you can get that run PR. All right, guys, there you have it everything you ever wanted to know about testosterone. I know you're all gonna take really good care of yourselves now and make sure that you're eating all those right foods and getting your blood tested. But do you want more videos? Do you want the inside scoop? Subscribe to our channel. Leave us a comment. Let me know kind of what you learned from the video, if you have any other questions, and like the video. All right, we'll see you in the next one.